to Cry Central Kids Storytime. My name is Michelle and this is Karis. Hello. And I'm the nursery coordinator and since I hang out with a lot of little babies at church, I am excited to share with you guys two of my favorite nursery books with you all today. The first one is called Let There Be Light by Danielle Hitchin. quiet and loud. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and God said, let there be light. Genesis 1 verses 1 through 3. Dark and light. In the beginning was a word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. John 1, verses 1 through 4. Above. Mm -hmm. Above. Above and below. God established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep. He gave the sea its boundary so the waters would not overstep his command. Proverbs 8, verses 28 through 29. Wet and dry. The Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Psalm 95, verses 3.5. day and night. The Lord who gives the sun for light by day and the fixed order of the moon and the stars for light by night. The Lord of hosts is his name. Jeremiah 31, 35. Ah. Empty and full. Ah. In trees the birds build their nests. The stork has her home in the fir trees. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is a sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures innumerable. Psalm 104, verses 17, 24, and 25. Large and small. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animal life domestic and wild, large and small, and it was done. Genesis 1 to 24. Alone and together. Then the Lord God formed the man from dust, of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Genesis 2, verses 7 and 18. Over and under. You have given man dominion over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet. The beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea. Psalm 8 verses 6 through 8. Work and rest. God saw everything he had made, and behold, it was very good. In six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Genesis chapter 1 verses 31, Exodus 20 verse 11. That is, Let There Be Light by Danielle Hitchin. The second book is Psalms of Praise by Danielle Hitchin. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Kneel. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Psalm 95, 6. 
stand. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him. You, all you offering of offspring of Israel, Psalm 22, 23. Walk. As for me, I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. Psalm 26, 11. Run. I run in the path of your commandments, for you have set my heart free. Psalm 11932 Jump With God's help I can jump over a wall Psalm 1829 Clap Clap your hands all peoples shout to God with loud songs of joy Psalm 471 And dance Let them praise his name with dancing Psalm 149.3 Sit. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Psalm 139.2 Still. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46.10 Lie down. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, 8. What did you guys think? Did you guys like Psalms of Praise? Yay! Let There Be Light? Yay! I love how the first book, Let There Be Light, shares about God and His creation and how it was good. But these days, I have been learning a lot about the Psalms. The Book of Psalm is a collection of poems, songs, and prayers that came from all throughout Israel's history. And a lot of the Psalms are prayers that teaches us how to pray and give thanks and how to find God's presence in the good times and the bad times. As I'm reading the Psalms, I'm learning to live in God's wisdom in this world. And I'm also learning to keep looking forward, no matter what, during the good times and the bad times, to the hope that we have in the coming of our King and of the Kingdom of God. What are some prayers and some things that you have for yourself, for your family and the community around you these days? Thank you for reading with me, and I hope that next week you can join us for another story time. Bye!